Hey everybody, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Maxwell. And why are we here today? Uh, well, we're here today because Johnny Craviato, my good friend, uh, passed away on July 15th. And what we want to do, there'll be many opportunities to celebrate Johnny's life with tributes, as people will do, uh, and we are in the process of collecting, actually. But I wanted to talk a little bit about Johnny and a little bit about the future. Uh, I knew Johnny for 16 years, and for at least eight or nine of those, I have helped him in the Craviato business, and uh, myself and one other person, with the idea that we wanted Johnny to be able to focus on what he loved most, and that was building wonderful drums and uh, allowing other people to worry about what I'll call the, the business stuff, which is what we, uh, we did for him. And uh, we miss him terribly. It was a shock uh, when he left us. But there's an interesting thing here. Uh, Johnny was a wonderful artist. And unlike anybody you'll ever meet again, uh, those of you who had a chance to meet him understand what I'm talking about. Uh, wonderful, wonderful man and a, and a brilliant guy, quite an artist. But he also did something that is what sometimes a lot of artists forget to do. They forget to train people and pass the skills on. But Johnny uh, didn't fall into that trap. Johnny trained the people that worked around him and he trained them extremely, extremely well. Uh, he's got a group of master craftsmen who do a superb job on the instruments and have been doing a superb job on those instruments over the last several years under Johnny's watchful eye. So, what does all of that mean? What does all of this mean? One of the things that myself and another partner talked about immediately uh, when we learned of Johnny's passing was that this legacy will live on. It needs to live on. That's what Johnny would have wanted and uh, therefore it will. It will live on and move forward. Everybody on the Craviato team is committed to that. I am committed to it. Uh, Johnny's other business partner is committed to it and we will move this business forward. So. The good news out of all of this is that uh, the legacy lives on and the wonderful drums that Johnny spent his entire life creating will continue to be created through the team in Watsonville. I will step in and I will direct the efforts of the Craviato business going forward. I will have uh, Dave Victor working directly for me handling the sales side and marketing. Uh, Greg Gaylord will be reporting directly into me. Uh, handling all the operations and production side and we're going to keep this business going and keep Johnny's legacy alive. Um, this is something we promised Johnny that we would do uh, although we weren't anticipating having to face this at this point in time but it's what we're faced with and we're going to move forward we're going to keep that legacy alive continue to build the most incredible drums possible and uh, we're going to just hold true to Johnny's legacy and celebrate his life's work. Uh, for me, this is something I do uh, out of love for Johnny and for the industry and the instruments he created. There's nothing, I don't want any money for this job. This is something I do for Johnny and for his team and for the people who loved what he did and for the instruments he created. So uh, we hope that you all will continue to uh, support the legacy of Johnny Craviato, and we all will do our best to make sure that we live up to what Johnny spent his life devoted to. Any questions, you can reach me on my cell, 630-865-6849, or by email at drummermax at aol.com. I'm happy to talk to anybody at any time. Thanks.